All right, we're here in Waukesha, Wisconsin for the uh, Rural Water Supply okay, Seminar. Going, and uh, so the units are in, currently in route. So we'll have an engine here soon at the dump site. But I just want to talk a little bit. So this is like a uh, Wisconsin two lane country road. We've got a bridge with culverts going underneath of it. Uh, pretty decent water depth. So you can see the upstream side. It rained quite heavily last night. So you can see all the uh, debris in the road. Um, but just a couple considerations. You want to have about four foot of depth unless you're going to have a floating strainer. So the guys here today probably be using a floating strainer, but there's ample water here. Um, and generally you'll find deeper uh, water on the upstream side. It seems like, uh, especially with this type of arrangement, it seems like it just kind of scours the, the bottom away a little bit more. Um, and you would want to think about having a rope to tie it so you wouldn't be pulling your strainer uh, down underneath the, uh, the road. Uh, obviously the hard sleeve is going to arrest that, but uh, you want to keep it in position. So just a few thoughts uh, in terms of the tanker shuttle, the folks will be coming down this road and then they'll be going this way. They're going to be making right hand turns the whole way. Uh, the road that they're coming from down, you can see the um, headlights of the car that's coming in. And um, you can, um, you want to be making right hand turns because you don't want tenders having to go crossways against traffic especially on a road on a busy road